If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. I don't care that they stole my ideas. I care that they don't have any of their own. Of all things, I like books best. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Be alone, that is the secret of invention. Be alone. That is when ideas are born. My brain is only a receiver in the universe. There is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. The present is theirs, the future, for which I really worked is mine. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed. Only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. Life is, and will ever remain an equation incapable of solution. But it contains certain known factors. We crave for new sensations, but soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences. What one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six, and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. The individual is ephemeral, races and nations come and pass away, but man remains. But instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have undoubtedly certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction or any other willful effort of the brain is futile. It's not the love you make, it's the love you give. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheelwork of the universe, though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding. The sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. My method is different. I do not rush into actual work. When I get an idea, I start at once building it up in my imagination. I change the construction, make improvements, and operate the device entirely in my mind. Most certainly, some planets are not inhabited, but others are. And among these there must exist life under all conditions and phases of development. Inventors don't have time for married life. So astounding are the facts in this connection, that it would seem as though the Creator himself had electrically designed this planet. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment and merging of races. And we are still far from this blissful realization. As I review the events of my past life, I realize how subtle are the influences that shape our destinies. The progressive development of man is vitally dependent on invention. It is the most important product of his creative brain. There is something within me that might be illusion as it is often case with young delighted people. But if I would be fortunate to achieve some of my ideals, it would be on the behalf of the whole of humanity. We are all one, only egos, beliefs, and fears separate us. A new idea must not be judged by its immediate results. One's salvation could only be brought about through his own efforts. Genius is its own passport and has always been ready to change habitats until the natural one is found. 
Originality thrives in seclusion free of outside influences beating upon us to cripple the creative mind. Be alone, that is the secret of invention. One may feel a sudden wave of sadness and rake his brain for an explanation, when he might have noticed that it was caused by a cloud cutting off the rays of the sun. Deficient observation is merely a form of ignorance and responsible for the many morbid notions and foolish ideas prevailing. Gain more, waste less, spend efficiently, learn. Science is but a perversion of itself unless it has as its ultimate goal the betterment of humanity. To know each other we must reach beyond the sphere of our sense perceptions. My belief is firm in a law of compensation. The true rewards are ever in proportion to the labor and sacrifices made. These are only new devices for putting the weak at the mercy of the strong. Instinct is something which transcends knowledge. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheelwork of the universe. I am credited with being one of the hardest workers, and perhaps I am, if thought is the equivalent of labor, for I have devoted to it almost all of my waking hours. Merciless is the law of nature, and rapidly and irresistibly we are drawn to our doom. Soon became convinced I was right and undertook the task with all the fire and boundless confidence of youth. We should effect a radical reform in the character of the food. War cannot be avoided until the physical cause for its recurrence is removed, and this in the last analysis is the vast extent of the planet on which we live. Antisocial behavior is a trait of intelligence in a world full of conformists. The development of man has its ultimate purpose the complete mastery of mind over the material world. One of the most gratifying results of intellectual evolution is the continuous opening up of new and greater prospects. Universal peace is a beautiful dream, but not at once realizable. Every effort under compulsion demands a sacrifice of life energy. I never paid such a price. On the contrary, I have thrived on my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed Nikola Tesla's quotes and gained some insights from this video. Consider subscribing if you liked the video. Thank you for watching.